But as for me, as my house, we're going to follow the Lord. In fact, we're not just going to follow him. We're going to follow him wheresoever he goes. So let me ask you this question. What avenues to your soul do you have left open right now? I don't have to define anything for you because I know that the Spirit in that instant brought to you some examples of some ways that you have not buffered up your soul, some ways that the devil tries to tempt you. Most of the time, it's super subtle. Oftentimes, we try to rationalize it. It's not that bad. But I want to encourage you in the name of Jesus today, in the name of Jesus and through the power of Jesus, cut off every single avenue to your soul. So I want to make an invitation for you here today. Three different invitations. The first one is this. I want to challenge you to memorize 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. That's a powerful promise that every believer needs to have in his or her arsenal. The, the devil comes to you with his temptations and, and, and sometimes the, the devil might trip you up. You, you claim that promise. You confess that sin. You stand back up in the name of Jesus. A second next step is this. How many today want to say, I want God's help to inventory my life and to close off any avenues to my soul? Anybody want to claim that today? Say, God, through your power, through your presence, I want to, I want to take an inventory of my life. I want to make sure that there's nothing left open for the devil to squirm his way into that serpent that he is. 